Bonsoir. Good evening. Quickly with uh, Osman. Good evening. The French team had won a penalty shootout since 1998. I believe that you all knew that in the team. Nope. But uh, what crosses your mind when you walk the 40 meters up to the uh, penalty spot and how do you get rid of all this weight knowing that penalty shootout is not so easy? Did you talk about it amongst yourselves? We didn't talk about it amongst us, but we were so confident before shooting at the penalty shootout. We uh, did that at the training session and the final that we lost at the World Cup helped us as well for the penalty shootout. I think uh, we all took the goalkeeper on the wrong side of the foot. Good evening. Um, you shot first. Why did you take that decision? Did the coach ask you to shoot, set an example? No, I took that decision myself. Every player took their decision, and as I said, everybody was very, very confident prior to the penalty shootout. Good evening, Usman. You knew in 2018 how to win and victory in the World Cup, and uh, there's qualities on the pitch and within the uh, side. Uh, are there any signs that show that you are up there for something big? Yes, especially when you reach this stage of the competition, you want to go all the way to the final. And since 2016, since 2014, the French national team has done very well internationally, except for 2021 when we were um, eliminated in the round of 16. But uh, your character gets stronger. We try to show solidarity solidarity there are difficult matches in this Euros this year we scored three goals but we reached the semi-finals and that shows how solid the team is it has a strong character that shows that we're still here Good evening, Usman. What did you talk about um, after the uh, penalty shootout in the locker room? And you know there's always debate. You're in the semifinals without having scored in the game. What do you say to people? The uh, atmosphere was good um, after qualifying for the semifinals. We did score three penalties. It's good that we had goal-scoring opportunities. What lacks is efficiency. We need to create... To manage to score the goals, but we do have the situation, and that's positive on, in terms of the game of the French national team. That's our game, and when the semifinals, and for those of them who are not happy about it, that's their problem. Good evening. Your defense has been incredibly strong. Can you talk about their cohesion somewhat this evening? Thank you. Yeah, I think from a defensive point of view, we did a great job. Those who started the game, the substitute as well, and that's how we uh, won this match. We were solid. We tried to attack, to have a lot of goal-scoring opportunities, which we did, and we keep this solidity. I think we got one goal since the beginning of the competition on penalty, so we need to underline the defensive part of the team. Good evening. You didn't take part in the round of 18. Did that hurt you? And what were, was the advice? Well, yes, a little bit after. There's 26 uh, players in the squad and they all want a team. Everybody wants to play and that's how it is. But there's competition. Some players came in like Rendell against Belgium. He scored. So he deserved to be captain. Uh, 
and you need to be ready each and every time so that you can change the outcome of the match. And last quick question. Good evening, Usman. You changed tactics a lot since the beginning of the competition. The coach has some surprises for us. Is that for you too? Yes, we also have um, surprises. We were told we'd play a 4-3-3, just like in the round of 16, and then it was a diamond shape. We adapt. Uh, as I said, uh, we stay solid. We show solidarity amongst each other. We stay on the pitch. And the tactic was the right one tonight. Thank you very much. And you'll get the program for tomorrow on the WhatsApp group. Have a nice flight back. Thank you.